Hey YouTube, and Ken Ellips here, and today I've got an update video for you with my Slash Rover 4 and Rustler VXL as always. Um, lots of stuff in this video, it kind of makes up for last week's, well, I didn't actually post a video last week now that I think about it, because I well, it was busy. And But the week before that, two weeks ago's video, um, it's corresponding to that, because I didn't have anything to show in that video, I think one thing. But this video, I have a lot to say, not a whole lot to show. I've got like one or two things that I can show. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I actually found this in my box O parts. It's an HPI Motive speed control, and it's a brushless speed control. And I, my friend is willing to sell me his brushless motor because it doesn't have a speed control that'll work with it. So maybe I will convert some truck to brushless someday, one tenth scale, I don't know. It's just an extra that I found and that I just had lying around. So, uh, anyway, I got these Proline slicers. I've used them in the sand once on my bead locks. These things are so stiff. I guess they're supposed to be that way. But I also got them, not just for the sand, but for the snow. Because I don't live in uh, sunny California where it's all nice all the time, but I guess some parts have snow, but uh, it's not like it's nice all the time here, and I ha get to drive my RCs because the weather's bad. Now that I have these and the slicers, I will be able to uh, focus camera, and I will be able to uh, run in the snow on my 4x4 and two-wheel drive. I'm going to get some yellow F11 rims for both of them, so it'll match my bodies, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> But I have some other stuff for you guys. I want you to put in the comments below what do you think what RC do you think I should get next? You can put your own suggestion, but my preference would be either a mini e Revo BXL or a team associated B4.1. Some of you guys probably know this um, about the trucks. Uh, one guy has a mini e Revo, and I can't recall his YouTube username right now. But uh <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I would, I want a truck that'll go fast, for one. For two, or I want a truck that I c can bash, but, like, to an extent, not to, like, crazy bash, though. Like, uh, my friend Blake15415, check out my tracks slash flips and crash the video, that's him driving. And, uh, so, uh, anyway, I want a truck that can, uh, go fast, one that can bash, and one that doesn't wear out quickly. I would like a truck that was that is very stable, do, doesn't have to have a lot of upgrades done to it for it to run good or not break. And um, I either want one of those two, or you guys suggest a truck that is under $400 in the comments below, because that is my budget. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, with that... Also, I have found parts that don't go to a, uh, a RC at all, actually. These are some skis I found just in my junk drawer when I was cleaning it out, and I also found the speed control up there, P pointing fail. And uh, so these skis, I took off the front wheels on my Rustler, and they fit it perfectly. So those I can also use with these, which is pretty epic. So, uh, yeah... Oh, yeah, also, I finally blew a tire on my stock wheels. She suck. Um, oh, also in my junk drawer, this was a lot of stuff I found. I found some stock tires with duct tape on them for some reason. I think my friend borrowed them, and he duct taped them up so he could drift. But, uh, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff this week that I can't cover all in this video. I just got back from, uh, I, I don't know if I should tell you where or not. Uh, I don't, I don't want it to ruin the video that I took, but I'll probably upload it sooner or later. But I went to a skate park, and I drove both my trucks. The first day, uh, uh, it was crowded there. Like, there were a whole bunch of people, but they were all watching, and they were egging me on to jump this onto the stairs, or off of the stairs and into the bowl. And I ended up, uh, popping out the rear axle, just put some Loctite on it, and it, uh, it's better now. Not on the slider shaft, but uh, on it to... Because it cracked on the little part that's like this. It kind of slid off and cracked like that. So I just put some Loctite on it. And I fixed it. Uh, but, 
Yeah, with my rustler, though, I was there, and I was doing backflips with that thing like crazy. Um, I don't have any footage of that because that was later at night, and you can't couldn't really see anything. But so, um, yeah, that's about it for this week's update. But uh, I forgot to give a subscriber shout-out. And I had three people unsubscribe from me, which is kind of unfortunate. I think YouTube is deleting on inactive accounts again, so that's probably part of it. Because some of them have been there with me since the very beginning, and they're gone now. Like, uh, And it might just be that they unsubscribe to me because they don't like my videos. It's okay. I don't care. I've got other friends. But <laughs> anyways, uh, oh, yeah, and uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was um, the rally car project for my Slash 4x4. I know I said I hated that body and that I... Uh, didn't like the conversion, but honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. The body just made it so klutzy. In that video, I it like would rub and it wouldn't catch and it wouldn't turn, so I had to back up several times on the track and keep coming around. And uh, that got quite annoying quite fast. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this week's update video, you guys. Sorry to kind of leave it off there, not with much to say. But uh, yeah, remember to put in the comments what I should get next. Uh, B4.1 or Mini E Revo. It has to, or you can select your own RC. It just has to be under four hundred dollars, cause uh, I, cause I don't want an RC that's gonna be like six hundred, seven hundred dollars that I uh, may not like. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.